Hello everyone, I am Bibi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another Let's Play video and we are here in the Broke household. Yes, it's finally time for the Broke household and what you just saw is Brandy Broke getting her first baby bump because she is pregnant. Yes, she is and she's wearing a default replacement dress I have. Oops, stutters. She's wearing a default replacement dress I have for her maternity outfit. So she's picked this this spectacular leopard dress and what is Dustin doing? Excuse me. He just woke up and he's dancing around in his room. Stop. Stop that right now. Check on your brother. Hello there, little Bo, little Bo broke. What? What happened? Oh god, immediately we are starting to have some glitchiness. Okay, potty train bow. I know this is Brandy's job, but Dustin is a responsible big brother. He does have a job. I mean, not the best job that a teenager should have, but he does have a job, so he is kind of taking responsibility for earning money for the family, which his mom doesn't currently have the capacity to do that. He does have a breakfast on the table. Mm -hmm. Brandy is admiring her pancakes. Come to the toilet. Oh, not take a bath. Come and use the bathroom. And he didn't have time to eat his breakfast. He is immediately going to school. Well, all right then, Dustin. Our neighbors are coming by. Greet Nina as well. Come on, Brandy. Hello there. They're actually pretty close with Nina. So have a little chat, have a little gossip. Immediately gossiping about Mortimer. Losing a best friend. Oh yeah. Oh, they're gossiping about Dina and Mortimer messing up their relationship. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> John Burb made his way into the house and he's eating Dustin's breakfast. Oh, he's very hungry. He's devouring these pancakes. I'm sure he loves it. Brandy here has almost maxed out cooking skills, so her pancakes must taste delicious. Let's put those leftovers away. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and Nina is here stepping- Oh, she's kicking the toddler! Stop! You are insane! Lady, no! Stop that. How's little Bo doing? He wants attention from me. Oh, ask for attention. He's like, lady, stop kicking me. Play with me instead. So anyways, yes, this is a little bit of a random intro, but I just wanted to just wanted to get into the gameplay here. I just wanted to take it natural, a little bit more chill, a little bit more laid back today because the Baroque household, you know, their life is kind of ordinary, it's kind of simple, so we're here for a little bit of a slice of life experience. This is going to be a little bit more of a slice of life episode. Just a single mom with barely any money to her name, 44 simoleons currently, who is just trying to get by, raise her sons after the passing of her husband. I thought we could just do something a bit more relaxed, a bit less intense. Maybe this is going to be a much-deserved break from any drama that certain families are involved in, or Brandy is going to is going to have a bad time. We'll see about that. We are currently in the last day of summer, so we're going to play the family throughout the entirety of autumn, so at the very least five days, and what we're going to witness is the birth of Brandy's new baby, and we're probably going to see a little Bo Broke grow into a child grow up into a child. Brandy here has very interesting wants, okay? I've locked in this want to teach Bo to potty train, which we will be working on. That's just the generic toddler wants. I've locked this for Bo as well. And he's a little bit tired, so Brandy, stop watching TV. Come and snuggle. Come and snuggle your little child. You should probably give him some attention, feed him. So snuggle him, kiss him, take care of him a little bit. Give him something to eat. Get him a bottle of food, a bottle of milk, and then you should put him to take a little afternoon nap. <laughs> Look at her waddle. What is Nina doing in the background? What are you doing with my plants? Oh, she's watering my plants! Look at her! <laughs> are you interested in gardening, Nina? What are my visitors doing? These are my plants! 
<gasps> She's bullying him. She loved that. She wanted that. Nina here is a little. Wait, she wanted that and she hated it at the same time. I don't know what she. She has really confusing emotions. This girl. Here's the thing. Let's greet the. Oh, look who's coming. All right, all right, all right. Greet everyone. Greet everyone. Oh, it's hailing outside. Come on, greet them so that they can walk inside the house. Come on, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. Call over, call over. Where did Mortimer go? He left. Aww. Come inside, nervous. Oh, 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 immediately it's starting. Here is the problem. I was talking about Nina earlier. Just a second ago, she was bullying John Burp, and now... Jennifer Burp has walked by and they are enemies. Jennifer Burp and Nina Caliente are enemies. They absolutely despise each other. Oh, oh, she's crying. And John is here comforting his wife. It's not fine. It is not fine. Y'all need to stop fighting. Brandy is here in between all of this. Okay, I will have to kick out someone. I will have to kick out someone and we'll, it'll probably be Jennifer because she doesn't really she doesn't really know Brandy too well. She just made her way into her house. Ah, there they go again. John is really upset with this. What is Nervous doing? You are disgusting! Stop! <laughs> Nina hated that. She's a neat so she hates stuff like this. Okay. Stop making a mess in our house. We're barely surviving here. Oh, this radio is a magnet to townies. What's up, Brandy? She's tired. It's midday, but let's send you to bed. It's understandable. Last episode, we were struggling keeping Dina Caliente alive. This episode, I guess it's gonna be the same with Brandy Broke. But she's in a much worse situation. Because at least Nina was helping around the house. Who is going to help around the house here? Dustin? I don't know. He has a day off today, okay? He's not at work and he wants to... He wants to kiss Angela. So let's ask Angela out. You guys need to leave my house. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Dustin is like, get out of my room. Does he know Darren? They don't know each other. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dustin has a bad relationship with Daniel Pleasant. I kind of want to take a moment to talk a little bit about this house, but the family is kind of going wild right now, and we don't really have a chill moment for this. I know you're not doing well. Oh, look at him. Stop. Stop. Oh, Dustin. Greet Angela. Come on. Hey there. They're hugging. They're not kissing. They haven't had their first kiss. I guess we should try, but not right here. I'll let the kids play for a little bit while I ramble a little bit about the house and what's going on here. Dustin and Angela, they have a very interesting relationship, okay? They like each other a lot. They're obviously dating. They're high school sweethearts or something like that. Oh, they just fell in love with each other. They weren't in love previously? Hmm, I'll let them do what they do. Dustin here, he's trying his best. He's not a really good student and he has a job and the criminal career, as we all know. He's trying to do whatever he can to make some money because he doesn't want to live in a trailer. He doesn't want to be broke his entire life. And Angela, as you guys know, Angela is basically the perfect little girl. She's mommy and daddy's perfect girl. Now, how perfect she actually is, I can't tell you for sure. Get out of the bathroom. You can at least help with the baby care. She's a party girl. She's all about popularity and having fun. So she doesn't care about babies. You, you could say whatever about Dustin. He does take responsibility. He does take responsibility. And he has no intention to not take responsibility. If you've seen my broke house renovation... Stop screaming, Angela, please. I beg. If you've seen my broke house renovation... Um, you might notice that there are some differences in this house. The reason being... When I transferred the entire neighborhood and all the lots and all that to my new computer, um, this household got corrupted. And I packaged the lot separately and tried to enter it without even having Sims live in it. It was still crashing. It was bad. It was not, it was not working basically. So I had to refurnish this entire place. I had to redo everything from scratch, which wasn't fun. I basically had to watch my own video as a tutorial on what to do. And I've allowed myself to change up a little bit certain things here and there, which I think is fine. 
It's fine. Nothing is set in stone. Ooh, what's happening? Oh, I guess he. Oh, he poked his diaper. <sighs> okay, change Bell's diaper. Brandy is still sleeping. You cannot see her underneath all of these pillows. <sighs> She's not even feeling that well to wake up and take care of Bell. So Dustin is doing all that. 7 p.m. Baby needs to sleep. Angela, get out of this room. Let's switch to the metal station. And Angela can come over in Dustin's room so they can hang out here. Listen to some metal music together. Phone is ringing. Oh, Brandy can wake up, actually. Let's see who's calling. Who is it? Nervous subject. Why are you so interested in Brandy? She doesn't like him. And I mean, Nervous has a relationship with Pascal. Anyways, I'm taking it a little bit slow to you guys. I've been a little bit tired, a little bit sick. I'm not in top shape, so I just thought this is the perfect house to just relax. Enjoy the game a little bit, as is. Is Angela leaving? Oh no, she's here to catch some fireflies. Uh -huh. Schnoozed. Thanks for that, Angela. <laughs> you didn't have to. It's cool though. But yeah, I've been feeling a little bit tired and sick. So I thought she's back at it again. <laughs> okay, she's really, she's clearly enjoying this. Dustin, get out of your mom's bed. You have a room. You have a room of your own, Dustin. Don't be like this. He needs to take care of his needs. Ooh, he's not feeling too good. Brandy. Turn off the radio. This is why Dustin is sleeping in your room. Turn off the radio and come and serve something for dinner. Chicken pot pie over rice. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. First and foremost, you have to actually take care of your kid. Oh, stop screaming! Bye, Angela. I was about to ask. It's kind of late and she's still hanging out. It's late to make dinner, but Brandy just woke up. She's not really working on a normal schedule. But she does need to get her her stuff in order. She needs to get herself in check. She sees so? Shalaka! What's up? What are you doing, Dustin? He's really hungry. Put Bo down. Come and have dinner with your mom. Pay some attention to your mom. She's pregnant. She needs you right now. Although, it's also important to have boundaries. Because you cannot be a replacement of your dad. If your mom wants a replacement for your dad, she needs to find a new partner. Oh, she ate that real quick. She was really hungry. How is she feeling? <sighs> she needs to have some fun. How about you play with little Bo? Oh, stop, Brandy! You're disgusting! You farted in Dustin's face! Ew! 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 Child support! CPS! I'm calling CPS, Brandy. Oh, Bo wanted to play with mom. Just don't let her fart in your face, Bo. They have the... What? They have an identical personality. Okay, I guess that's why Dustin is just so chill. Chill about being farted in the face by mommy. He'd probably do the same to his kids. What? Oh! See? It's stuff like that when you build lots. Stuff like that. This lamp is now blocking his path. We're gonna give him a wall lamp. So let's just put a wall lamp right there and go to sleep, Dustin. This is why he wasn't using his bed. You guys sometimes are like, where can I download your lots? Do you want to download my lots? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I will at some point clean up some of these lots and possibly upload them so you guys can use them as well, but genuinely keep this in mind. There's a ton of custom content. These lots have been lived in. I really need to plug them into SimPE and clean them up from Sim data and stuff like that before they would be ready for upload. Bo is going to need to use the potty real soon, Brandy. So have some fun, play a little bit with your toy Bo, and then you'll have to take him to potty. Change to the yummy channel. You like cooking, don't you, Brandy? Come on. Although, let's see. Cuisine is not her hobby, but that doesn't make sense. So I will use the Sim Blender and give Brandy 
the one hobby which is arts and makes no sense, will give her the cuisine. The cuisine hobby. Put away the leftovers in the fridge. We don't want that to go bad. Oh, a little bit of a hiccup because we just switched seasons and it's now autumn. It's really dark outside. It's really dark. You guys also ask me what mod I use for the light. I use the Maxis, Maxis Match Lighting mod. I think that's what it's called. And it definitely makes it look quite darker during the night. You're not going to sleep yet, Brandy. Empty the potty chair. Oh, Dustin is snoring so loud. Yeah, yeah, you don't like that. Come on, don't be like this. How many babies have you had this far? You're about to have a third one. Chillax, you're a family sim. You should be okay with changing diapers. A little boy was really close to learning the potty skill. Potty skill? <laughs> Getting potty trained. Put him in the crib. Although he's not that sleepy, but put him in the crib. You can't just leave him out there like this. And then go to sleep. Because you don't look so good, Brandy. You just look a little bit rough. Turn off the TV. How is Dustin doing? He's not doing great at school. Oof. If he fails at school, he might get fired from his job. Which, I know he doesn't care about school, but I'm pretty sure he cares about the job. I'm pretty sure this is gonna wake him up. <laughs> if he hears this coming from the other room every single time. Calm down! There you go. Feeling better? Getting snuggled? A thing I'd like to show you today is that I have renovated two of the community lots. So maybe if Brandy doesn't feel too terrible later on in this let's play, we can take her out. Maybe to hang out with her friend Dina, who recently had a baby as well, so they definitely have something to bond over. And we can see some of the community lots. I think that would be lovely. Oof, I wanted to throw a birthday party for little Bo, but first of all, I don't think we can afford a cake, which is tragic. It's absolutely tragic. And then, I don't think Dustin can attend? He has like one hour between getting picked up from work and school, so he might not be able to attend that. Can we afford a birthday cake? How expensive is the birthday cake? We can! It's gonna be like most of our money. <laughs> I think, I think that that's just an essential thing to do. I know, Brandy. Okay, baby bump number two. Change into your maternity outfit. Come on, don't be waddling around in your pajamas. Let's call Dina. Why not? Invite Dina over. I'm gonna check on you in a second, Bo. Don't worry. Oh, they're not that close. Wait. Let's call Dina over. Maybe we can call both the sisters, if Nina is available, because she does go to work. Invite them over, let's hang out. Our lovely neighbors, the Caliente sisters, will be right over. I'm sure they have, like, juicy gossip. The Caliente sisters must have a lot of juicy gossip. Especially on Don Lothario. The things they've been doing with him? Mm -mm, not cool. I've locked this want in here for Brandy. Look at her want. You crazy girl. She wants to woohoo in closet. With who? You have no relationships with anyone like that? She's into- Oh no! She's into Darren and John Burb. You know, Darren is fine, but John Burb, no. No, he's taken. Don't be like this, Brandy. You're not this kind of woman. Or are you? Or are you? Brandy needs to eat. Let's get the pancakes from yesterday. Yesterday's pancakes sounds delicious, right? <sighs> Let's get the pancakes from yesterday. Nina, no! Came here to clog my toilet? Girl! Bo is really happy about that. Wants to grow up well. Well, I hope you grow up well. I hope you have a good life in the future because these humble beginnings are going to be really rough for your family. I have some gardening supplies here in the back for Brandy. I use the gardening overhaul mode so we cannot just plant whatever we want. We have to physically go to the store and buy seeds and compost and things like that if you want to have a garden. Although I have a couple of plans for her over here. We'll see what's gonna happen with those. A hundred simoleons in bills. That's gonna be a little bit rough. We can't afford that right now. Look at what Angela did. Just left these jars of dead fireflies on here. I wonder, let me check. She doesn't even know Angela. Hmm, that's strange. 
I feel like Brandy wouldn't have an issue with Angela. I need to introduce them to each other. But Angela's family absolutely does not approve of Dustin. Come on, Bo. Almost there. Yay! Finally. I cannot read to you right now, unfortunately. Put him... Put him in the crib to nap. I know, Brandy, you're extremely tired. Put him in the crib to nap. Go and take a little nap yourself for a little bit. And we'll wait for Dustin to come home so we can get a cake and blow out the candles. That's all I want. Okay, here is Dustin. He's coming back. How are his grades? Oh, look who he brought. Ricky Cormier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible report card. Hide that away. Don't want your mom to see that. Hey, Ricky. Ricky is looking fresh. He got a makeover at Dino's salon last time. And she didn't mess his face up. <laughs> it was one of her successful makeovers. He is so frustrated. He's like, oh, I feel terrible. Yeah, let's chill and watch some TV with Ricky. Let's get a cake. Let's get yellow candles. Yellow is nice. Wake up, Brandy. Put on your normal outfit. And let's take little Bo to the cake. Meanwhile, the boys are talking about gold, talking about money. I'm sure Dustin is very interested in that topic. I don't know Ricky's aspiration. What's up? No, you're not going to work yet. Not going to work yet. You need to be here at least to see little Bo grow up. And the little boy has just grown into a child. That's great. Dustin, please walk to work. <laughs> you have no time to slack off, Dustin. The carpool just went by. Let's check on little Bo over here. What is he going to do? He's going to clean up. All right. Ooh, look at him. He is very neat. Nice, at least someone is not going to be filthy and leaving plates all around this house. What a responsible little gentleman. Come on and talk to Ricky. Oh, immediately he's like, I don't want to hear anything, little guy. Shut up. Shut up about magic lamps. Well, that wasn't the best first interaction with strangers. Let's pick up the phone. Who is it? Is Dustin available to talk? No, Dustin is at work. Here's the thing, soon we will need this room for the newborn baby that is going to arrive. So I suppose little Bo is going to have to share the room with his mom for a while. There is just no other way to do this. He's looking pretty cute. Look at his little red cheeks. What does he want? He wants to buy a lemonade stand. You know what? I would love to do that for you because maybe you can earn some money for the family that way, but we can literally not afford that cardboard lemonade stand. We cannot afford anything. Reach creativity, okay. Buy a telescope. That is a very expensive hobby you are wishing to pick up. Let's see, how much does the lemonade stand cost? Where is it? The lemonade stand costs 120 simoleons. Well, unless your brother brings in some money, we cannot afford that. Why don't you clean up the jars that Miss Angela has left lying around? Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. It's disgusting. Look at that! Why is he crying? No! He's crying over the dead fireflies. That was so sad. So Dustin just got promoted to numbers runner. Right, that's cool. He actually brought in some money and we can buy the lemonade stand that little Bo wants so much. Although, to be honest, I feel like Dustin would like to keep the money to himself. But maybe this is his little brother's birthday birthday present. <laughs> he did that for him. He is so happy. He is so happy about this. Sell lemonade. It's a little bit late though. I don't think you should sell lemonade right now. Oh, I was like, who is screaming? It's Brandy that's screaming. Because her needs are so low. She's having nightmares. I'm sorry, Brandy, but... Uh, what can we do? so hard to keep a pregnancy in check. She can wake up though, she can wake up right now, use the toilet, take a bath I suppose. What are you doing? Making your brother's bed. This little boy, what a way to grow up. You don't have to be the maid of the house, Bo. 
This little boy is just taking on too many responsibilities for his age. Right, Brandy, take care of yourself. She wants to befriend Nervous. What are you thinking, girl? What are you thinking? She's very interested in Nervous. Okay, Ricky has been hanging out at my house a little bit too much. You need to go home, Ricky. And I'm gonna send Dustin to watch some TV. Because his mood is really, really bad. The toilet is clogged and disgusting because Nina did that to us. Thank you so much, Nina. I guess Dustin could try and fix that. He does need a mechanical skill point, but he is extremely tired, so yeah, he needs to get to bed soon. Right, wake up, Dustin. How about you try to unclog this toilet? How about you attempt that? And maybe you'll gain a mechanical skill and it'll be good for you. Okay, he's done. Take a shower. Meanwhile, your mom can wake up. Clean up this, clean up that, and serve a breakfast. Serve some omelettes. Bo, you can make the bed. Change into your everyday outfit. Today is his first day of school, so we'll see how he'll do at school. Hopefully he'll meet some kids there, make some friends. He does want to make a friend, as all kids do. <laughs> but it's definitely going to help him to meet some kids and socialize a little bit, because not a lot of people are coming around, especially not kids in this part of the neighborhood. Dustin, are you serious? Get away from that fridge. Get away from the fridge. Your mom needs to cook. Thank you, mom, for the delicious breakfast that we're having right before school. Oh, look at, wait, look at Brandy's belly. Oh, she's clipping through the table. Now, granted, this, this mesh is a little bit larger than the, the average table. Just for the aesthetic, so there is some clipping. They just became best friends, look at that, he really loves his mom. He actually loves his brother as well, they get along really well. Now Dustin and his mom, mm -mm. the relationship here is a little bit strained, they're not very close. I feel like maybe Skip's passing has a lot to do with that. School bus is here, how about you eat a little bit faster, Bo? You don't want to be late to school, okay, get up. Go to school, come on. It's your first day. You cannot miss your first day. <gasps> Wait, what? They just went to school. Oh, she's all here alone and she's going through this. She's giving birth. Wait, hold on. A hot little minute. Let me save here. Let me save here because I don't trust this game. Okay, it's happening. It's happening, you guys. <sighs> Whose last name the baby gets? I mean... They're both broke? <laughs> Just gonna go with Brandy broke? There we go, the baby is here. Is it a clone of Daddy Skip broke? Oh my god, it's a girl. I thought it's gonna be a boy. Ooh, what are we gonna name it? I was thinking that it's gonna be a boy and I was gonna be like Bobby. It's gonna be Bobby broke because Bob and Betty, newbie, are Brandy's parents. We're not gonna go with Betty, we're gonna go with Becky. Becky broke. She wants to get married. I would love that for you, girl. I would love that for you. But to who? To who are you going to get married? Ay, ay, ay. Another mouth to feed in the broke household. And this time a girl. I'm actually, I'm happy that she has a girl because this is different. Oh, look at these bushes. Yeah, I'm missing some custom content plans. So these bushes are looking terrible. But when I sell them, we're going to get a little bit of money. Is this cheating? I mean, technically, I don't want these bushes here. They're not supposed to look like that. Maybe I should have just placed them there. Wait, because that is kind of cheaty. The thing about the broke household is like, I am not going to help them with money. They need to figure this out themselves. Okay, I'm just going to sell this one because I have nowhere to put it. That's fine. It's not perfect, but it's fine like that. Right, now that you're here, how about you get the mail and we see if we can afford these bills. Because last thing we want is the repo man to come over and steal... The money that we don't have. 106 emollients. Okay, we can afford that now. Thanks to that bugged out bush. Thank you so much. Right, and we have nothing again. She feels so filthy. I would love for her to go out and have some fun, but there's nobody to look over the baby. Hmm, let's see. Dustin is not at work today. So Brandy can go out and let Dustin take care of the house for a half minute. Oh, why did you leave that food? It's gonna go bad like that. Put away the food, please. Oh, it immediately went bad. 
Okay. Throwing away food, Brandy broke. If I don't keep up with my homework assignments, then I'm gonna flunk out of high school. And my boss says I'm only allowed to hold a part-time job if I keep on top of my studies. Okay, sir? Sir, you actually need to study. Yes, I know you're disappointed in yourself, but it's all... The lack of shadows. <laughs> it's, this is your own doing. Look at this pile of homework that you're leaving right here in front of the doorstep. First of all, come and clean this up because it's filthy. I know the house is disgusting and dirty. It's because you never take care of it. How about we invite someone to just hang out at a community lot with us? Is Nini at home? She's not. You know what, Brandy? Walk the lot. I'm thinking we should go here. Walk. Welcome to 290 Main Street. This is what I've done off camera. Listen, sometimes you just have to take your time and play around and have some fun. This is what I've done off camera, just renovating this lot to make it into something more interesting. First of all, it definitely looks so much better than what it used to. We have some decorative parking spaces. We have, we'll take a look inside in a second. Outside, we have some bicycles, you know, a place where Sims can, they can't technically ride a bike. These are just decorative, but it just looks cute. We have a street dancer who looks a little bit like Miss Nina. What? She was bonded with Mr. Patricio Monti. She has two bolts with Patricio Monti. She is into that. She is into that. She is into that. You know what? Have a little chat with him. Have a little chat with him. This building, this building is very cute. I'm going to show you inside. This is a little cafe. It's nothing too fancy, but just a spot where Sims can come and hang out, chat and talk around a little bit. And then in here, we have the grocery store we originally had. I just made it a little bit smaller. It's just a small local grocery store. This is where you can buy those seeds I was talking about. This is from the gardening overhaul mod. You need to have one of these on your community lots where Sims can actually purchase seeds. In here, we have a little bit of a game room place. I don't know. This is I, I when I made this, I was thinking like maybe this is going to be a good place for teenagers to come and hang out. Do you want to join Patricio? You're just watching me. Right here we have a little salon. When I was working on the Caliente household, I was like, I want a salon where people can actually get makeovers, not the, not the Dina Caliente treatment. Ooh, look at this townie. This randomly generated townie looks so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we have the makeover station right here. Um, they can buy jewelry, they can buy perfume or cologne. There's a few things here where you can um, you can get lashes, you can get nails some hair, some skin details and such. These are hacked objects. And in here we have just a massage parlor, nothing special, but I wanted something a little bit different. Basically, I wanted these lots to not be so empty. I wanted to give my sims something to actually do when they come to these community lots and it feels so much more alive and interesting like this. But let's see what Brandy is doing. She is having a chat with Patricio Monti. Wait, was this guy married? Hot daily dang, he is married. Okay, Brandy, I understand that you're into it for whatever reason. Like, I don't know what there is to see in this man, but oh, look at his eyebrows. Oh, Brandy, you have competition. But yes, you might be into Patrizio, but he is taken, so don't think about that. But I just want Brandy to have a little bit of a moment to herself. She's working so hard. I mean, she's not working, but being a mom is a full-time job, basically. It's a 24-7 job. She's surely super tired, and she just had a baby, and this is her first time going out in so long. So she's just walking downtown, talking to a few townies, meeting new friends. She did have a good time with Tracy Monty. They built a relationship real quickly, like 30 in just one meeting. That's pretty good. Brandy had a really nice afternoon, just chilling here. Having some fun. I know you're tired. You can walk home, you know that? Right, we're back at the Broke House and it's gonna be about six hours until Randy comes back. There's a screaming baby immediately in my ear. Let's go, Dustin. You have to take care of your little sister. Meet little Becky. It's time to bond a bit with her. You know, it's not exactly the kind of lifestyle he wants for himself, but... It is what it is. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Sometimes you have to take responsibility. I'm pretty sure that Dustin cannot wait to leave and not have to do this though. Maybe he's hoping that he can just join Angela's family and live a better life at their big house and get all that money, you know? All right, I'm back online. The electricity at home went out. <laughs> 
My electricity went out for a couple of hours, so I had to... Oh no, look at him! No, Dustin. It's okay. I mean, do you care about school that much? Ooh. I know, I know. We'll take care of that. But you cannot just leave your baby sister lying on the floor like that. Pick her up. Come on, pick up Becky. He's probably super furious at his mom right now. He's like, I'm here. Having to do this, having to do the babysitting, taking care of my little sister. Where is mom? Where is mom? Why is she not coming back home? She's just hanging out. She doesn't care. Hi there. Look who's back home. Bo is back home. His grades are improving and he actually wants to do his homework. I'll let him watch TV for a little bit so that he can get his mood in check. And his brother... Yeah, his very frustrated brother can come over and watch some TV too. <gasps> what are you watching, Bo? I saw two people making out on the screen. You're too little for that. She's got to. Is his facial expression bugged? I think he's permanently stuck with the smile. Okay, yeah, he is stuck with this goofy smile on his face. <sighs> Never a dull moment. Because I had to reload the game, because no electricity. <laughs> uh, the timer for Brandy is gone. I think she had like six hours until she came back home. And she's in a terrible mood. Ooh. But she has these weird wants and she did meet a man on the lot that she actually likes. She has two bolts with Patrizio Monti. I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know if she even, like, did he, did he even share with her that he's actually taken? But this is a huge problem, Brandy. You cannot just have desire for men like this. And why is she into elderly men? It's only, like, the elderly that she's meeting. Dustin is in a really bad mood. And little Bo is finally feeling a bit better, so he can do his homework. Come on and do your homework, alright? He could ask his older brother to help him with homework, but I don't feel like Dustin is the kind of guy who's <laughs> who's very invested in school. I mean, as you can see, he has these piles of homework that he hasn't even touched, which could cost him his job, and that's a bad thing. Dustin's rebellious nature gets him into trouble, but deep down he wishes people would tell him what to do. Do you want to be commanded, Dustin? I wonder if Angela will do that for him. Little Bo doesn't want to sell lemonade anymore, like he doesn't have the want. But I'll make him do it. Come on. It's 6 p.m. It's kind of late, but maybe people who are getting off work right now in Pleasant View, coming back home, they can pass by and grab a cup of lemonade from Bo Broke. Look at this young businessman doing his thing. Mm, that's it. What's up, Dustin? Oh, he's cooking. Okay, I see you. He's actually taking responsibility. He's like, mom didn't leave us any food. Is Bo available to talk? Why do you want to talk to my baby brother? No, I'm not gonna let you talk to him. This is inappropriate. I really want to take some time, hopefully in the upcoming days, to invite Angela out on a date and maybe we can get that first kiss going. But yeah, Brandy isn't here. She didn't leave any dinner for the boys. So Dustin, he had to do what the best he could. And the best he could is salami sandwiches. Still, he's doing a great job. He, he is being a very responsible big brother right now. Even though I'm pretty sure he's brewing inside like, Ugh, I hate this. I hate having to do this. I wish this wasn't my life. I want to live a cool life. I want to be awesome. I want to be in a band. I want to have money. I want to travel. Not this. Not this kind of life. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Set lemonade price. Look at that. Set it to cheap. Come on. Come on. Where are the passerbys? It's getting late though. It's 8 p.m. You need to get in. Eat your dinner. Eat your delicious salami sandwich dinner. Is it late enough? I'm thinking maybe he can... Maybe he can sneak out with Angela. Let's wait around a little bit. Maybe he should take a little nap and sneak out with Angela later. If she wants to. If she wants to. If he just wants to get out of the house and mom isn't here to tell him what to do, she's not here to do anything actually because she's just gone. It's almost 9 p.m. and she's not at home. Oh. I think that's our cue that Brandy is back. And she's very tired. Come back here. Everyone is tired. Look at Mortimer. Can we greet him? Does she know him? I bet she's gonna have like two bolts with him or something ridiculous like that. She's just so into old men. This is messy. She's thinking about marriage. Hey there, Mr. Goth. 
I know. Immediately I can see the chemistry bolts. One bolt. Okay. Still. Why, Randy? Why are you so much into old men? They are not the solution to your problems, girl. Or are you learning something from Dina Caliente? It's 10 p.m. Let's see if we can call Angela and sneak out with her. Cool, I'll come pick you up at 1 a.m. I bet she's gonna show up with a limo or something ridiculous like that because they're so rich. Yikes, the baby is crying. Okay, Brandy, I know you're tired, but this is your responsibility, not your son's. Get up. Oh, hey, Dustin, why are you awake and dressed up in your outfit like you're ready to go outside? Hmm. Okay, Angela is here. Let's go. Brandy is unaware. She's taking care of the baby. And they're off. They are out on midnight duty, having God knows what fun. All right, let's put Becky in the crib again and take care of your needs because you are feeling terrible, 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 terrible. What is this? Go to the toilet, take a bubble bath, then you have to clean up because this is just such a mess. It is so filthy. Is this the kind of place you want to raise your kids? What kind of example are you setting here, Brandy? Clean up a little bit, okay? The place has to be tidy. You don't want the social worker visiting you. Okay, Miss Brandy, it's also time for a midnight snack. She's up early. Let's try those salami sandwiches that Dustin made. Hmm, this is my son's first attempt at cooking. She can judge because she is a really good cook. Which reminds me again that she would do really well in the culinary career if she could have a career. Look who's coming back home. Look at this sneaky snake. Uh-oh. Just where do you think you're going, Dustin? Okay, big trouble in the broke house. Uh, Dustin, get yourself to bed. How could you violate my trust like this? Yeah, he's immediately going to sleep. And this... Uh, she's going to sleep as well. Well, sure. It's 5 a.m., but this definitely didn't help their relationship. They were already on pretty bad terms. Ask to be read to. Bo, it's 6 a.m. Your brother spent the entire night out. He just barges into the room. Hey, how about you read a book to me? It feels like mom, now that he's grown up into a kid and he's a bit more, um, he's able to take care of himself a little bit more, his mom is kind of ignoring him. And with the focus on the new baby, he has become the middle child in this situation, which is not ideal for him. Oh, look at him. He's frustrated that he got caught while sneaking out. Well, you should have been more careful with that sneak out, but look at his fun. This definitely helped him because no amount of watching TV was helpful. Little Bo, come outside and look at the mess you have left. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing these flies? Do you know how dangerous this is? Don't just be sneaking around like this. Clean up your little lemonade stand. Well, that was quick. He just... <laughs> I haven't seen that animation in so long. He just swiped with his, with his hand once and that was it. What does she want? <gasps> she wants to get a job! Yes! Okay, Brandy, I see you. She finally realized that this is not working. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm so happy for her. <laughs> it's just not working. This is no way I can sustain my entire family like this. I need a job. So she wants to get a job and she wants to gain a skill point. Right. Good for her. We'll look at the newspaper, hopefully. Where is the newspaper? Hello? I'll let her look at the newspaper after she is done with her breakfast. Ew. Ew, Randy, no. After she's done with her breakfast, I'll let her look at the newspaper, try to find a job, ideally in the cooking career, the culinary career. However, if it's not available, we'll just take something that just matches her personality as much as it can. She's into money, entertainment, fashion, sports, weather, travel. Hmm. Three kids at home. Dustin is grown. Dustin is grown. He's fine to be left at home alone, but the others, not so much. Gamer career, definitely not her. Entertainment, no. Architecture. She doesn't have the credentials for that. Okay. Obviously, we're not doing that. Let's lock that want in, regardless. Okay, the Caliente sisters are coming over, which is great to hear. And look who's outside, John Burb. Let's greet him. Be kind to your neighbors. Hang out. Clean up, especially because Nina... <laughs> Nina is not going to be happy to see the mess in this house. What are you guys doing? She's just obsessed with my plants. How about you get out of my garden, Nina? 
Leave my... What is this? A cabbage? A lettuce? Leave it alone. I'm about to lock this door. Allow household only. Enough of that. Enough of that nonsense. You guys are not going to be entering my house all the time. John Burb! Are you catcalling Miss Nina? You listen. You are not that kind of man. <laughs> oh, look at that. John Burb was whistling at Nina, but she's like, ew, he's so repulsive. She's not into him. Stop. Dustin is failing and is one of the worst students at school. Dustin! <gasps> With such bad grades, Dustin's employer have decided that Dustin isn't the type of material they are looking for in a part-time employee. Dustin has been fired. Oh, Jesus. Okay, everything is going really bad for Dustin right now. Right? Right? He wants to get a job. Instantly, he wants to get another job. You guys are so annoying. Get out of my room. Go and argue with, with John Burb. <laughs> Go and argue with John Burb. Like, why is he dancing in your room? Who are you and why did you make your way into my room? This is my space. I just had a terrible day at school. And you're here making it worse, dude. You're in my room. You're in my space. Get out. Nina, who do you think you are? Stop! He's like, I failed math, I failed calculus, algebra, everything. Get out of my room. The two sisters are screaming in Dustin's room. They don't care. They don't care. This guy is sleeping here. To contrast his older brother, Bo is doing extremely well. It's cool. He did do his homework, though. He wanted to... Oh, look at his fun. Right, he's having the worst time of his life. He's not bringing anyone though. He's not bringing like any friends or something. I really wanted him to meet another kid. Come and pick up the phone, Brandy. Answer, answer. Come on, pick up the phone. Is Dustin available to talk? Yeah, he is. Wake up, Dustin. It's your friend Ricky. He's like, hey dude, I just heard that you're having an awful time at school and you got fired. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, music class is the worst. But right now, what I want to see is if we can get a cake and grow up our baby. Come on, bring Becky to cake. Dustin is just so distracted. He doesn't care. He doesn't care right now. Oh my god! This hair! <laughs> This hair that Becky just grew up into, Becky is a toddler now, but this hair, it just, this is not toddler hair. Why are you whining? You don't like the cake? It's birthday cake, don't complain. Go and watch some TV, you're so frustrated. Nina is just here looking at this broccoli, it's a broccoli, okay. She's obsessed with it. The baby needs attention, but we're gonna give her attention in a hot minute. Because I want these two to leave my house. <laughs> Brandy hasn't had the time to take care of her garden at all. She has not looked at these plants, not even once, but these two are just coming around and doing this. And she is so into John Burb. She doesn't want to change a diaper. She wants to have another baby. You are not having more babies. Miss. I want someone. It's probably going to have to be Dustin. It's probably going to have to be Dustin. I want him to change Becky's appearance because this hair is nonsensical for a toddler. Like, look at this. Just, I want you all to look at this face. <laughs> What is this? Platinum blonde hair? No, this is just ridiculous. Come on, Dustin, let's change the toddler's appearance. Okay, this is so much cuter. And it looks like an actual baby. So how about you potty train her for a second? Oh, you can't, because it's filled. Okay, just put her in the crib and mommy will have to take care of the consequences. Bo wants to get a puppy. That would be so cute for this family if they could have a puppy. Not that they can afford to take care of themselves, let alone a pet. They just became best friends. Look at these two. Okay, I'll let the boys take care of their mood for this evening. And then I'll send them to bed and then we'll see how the family will feel in the morning. Okay, I suppose we're not gonna have a peaceful night. It's 11 p.m. and Becky is crying in her crib. Brandy needs to wake up and take care of her. Thankfully, Brandy is in a relatively okay mood. Becky is very, very dirty. Come on, change her diaper. She is so... The fun! The fun! This family is just not having fun. This is all I'm gathering from this so far. Yeah, yeah, you need a shower, you need to actually have fun. Ew, the bathtub is so filthy, it's disgusting. 
Revno, Claude. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, this is probably... Oh, Yeah, this is exactly what, what we don't want to happen. Right, it's almost time for school. Dustin, get the mail. I don't think they can afford it. They have 84 simoleons. Let's see. 82. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have not seen a family this broke. Two simoleons. Brandy is absolutely living up to her name. You need to get a job, Brandy. This is just ridiculous. Find a job. No! Well, this is a visual representation of how well the broke household is doing right now. Was that a good sleep? No. She's awake! Oh, we can't do this. The mailman is here. Oh, for a second, I was just scared that we're gonna get more bills. <laughs> we can't get more bills. Let's pray for a job at the culinary career or something else. At this point, anything else we'll have to do. Military? No, but at this point, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe this is what Dustin will have to do. Oceanography. What? What are these jobs? Dance? No! Ah! <laughs> these jobs are nonsense. Y'all yeah, wanna see this? <laughs> the way toddlers walk upstairs is crazy. I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I do use a mod for that. I just think it's so much more convenient for toddlers to move around houses that have like a foundation or something like that. Yeah, it just looks goofy because there's no animation for it. This house is just constantly a mess. Let's pray that things will work out for her because right now they're looking a little bit grim. Oh, look at him and he has pimples too. What? Okay, something something happened, but let's ignore that for a second. He has pimples. Oh no, Dustin. I'm sure Angela is just going to love that. Hey, what are you doing here? Why are you back from school so early? He's teasing his little baby sister. Why did you do that? Bo lost a grade by missing school. Wait, he did not even go to school? Was he sleeping the entire time? I'll take that. Don't you have some homework to do? No! Oof. I'm sorry, Dustin, but you cannot take a job right now. You have to find some other way to earn money. Well, since he's here early, maybe we can call Angela and invite her on a date. Ask Angela on a date. Hey, do you want to go out? Do you want to hang out? At a community lot. A little Bo just gave up on trying to sell lemonade. Not a single cup sold. Okay, here we are. Where are we going? I think we'll just go to, hmm, 290 Main Street. I think this is the place where I went with Brandy, but there's just the most stuff to do there right now. <gasps> no! <laughs> Why? Why? Why did it happen? Well, let's hope I saved recently. Okay, thankfully the game saved right before he got into the taxi. So when I loaded back, he just basically got off the taxi back on the lot. And I just made them walk to the lot and Angela spawned Angela right here. So we can just straight up ask her on a date. Where are you going, Dustin? Are you just going to circle the entire parking lot? Angela almost left while you were running around the freaking parking lot, Dustin. She's right here. Come on, let's ask her on a date. Dude, relax. Relax. Give her a tickle. Wait. <gasps> She just kissed him! I wasn't prepared! She just autonomously decided to give him a first kiss. Well, are you happy now, Dustin? <laughs> he went from aspiration failure to absolute bliss and joy. Your fun is down. Yes, it will help. What are you two doing? Angela! Angela is taking the lead here. Listen, I don't even know what's happening. She just invited him, like she kissed him, and then invited him to get in. If you actually start having fun with Angela, you won't feel like this anymore. Are you two going to take a picture or what is happening? <gasps> what? What? Oh my goodness! Now I'm not here to judge, but that was extremely quick. Angela, you are crazy. She is crazy. <laughs> She's insane. I thought Dustin is a bad boy. Look at her. Now she wants to make out with him. I mean, let's make out. 
She wants to make out with him. She kissed him. She invited him to get in the photo boat for um, a quickie, and that was his first time. I'm pretty sure that was her first time as well. That was insane. This is happening way too quickly. I didn't anticipate that this is going to happen right now. Angela, what kind of person are you? Let me pause. Come over here, you guys. There are games to play here so that you can have fun together. Relax for a moment. That was too intense. That was too intense. You are going way too quickly, you two. Did he just insert a coin? He paid one simoleon for that. Dustin? You have no money. And your friend Ricky here is hitting up your girl. Can I share with you what just happened to me? I got my first kiss. I got my first woohoo dude in a photo booth. Angela wants to make out again. This girl. This girl is very, you know, it's the teenage hormones taking over right here. That's what I think is happening. It feels kind of like she's rushing it just to hit the milestones. She's like, first kiss and first woohoo on, on one date. It's kind of too much, Angela. I don't know. Can we afford to take a picture? Nope. That would be great, but we can't afford that. Can you lend me some money, Angela? I know you're rich. It's almost midnight. Okay, you have to end the date here. It was a great date. He loved it. He, wait, popularity? How is his... Yeah, he has a good reputation, although he's a little bit of a sus boy. Considering the criminal career that he was in and couldn't sustain. You could have sent Angela home, you know. It's midnight. Well, Dustin absolutely had the time of his life on that date. So let's see what's happening at the trailer. Who left this alien book right here? This is so suspicious. What is she talking about? Quitting her job? She's like, I'm so happy I quit my job to take care of you. He's like, Mom, you shouldn't have quit that job. We would have done better if we had the money to actually live. I'm still keeping this lock for her. I really want her to get a job. Look at her. Her hunger got maxed out. Is she gonna get fat? <laughs> she is already fat. What? What's in these radishes? She became fat. I mean, fat, that's in big air quotes because, you know, the fat in The Sims 2 is basically just lean with a little bit of extra booty. What about this want girl? Get married. Get married to who? Have you changed your mind about... No, the one man she likes the most has the best relationship with and has the most chemistry with is Patrizio Monti. We might try to talk to Patrizio Monti. Just see, just see where that goes. I know he's married, but in Brandy's mind, well, first of all, does she even know that he's married? I think she might be just fantasizing a little bit more about this than she should. Oh, I was just about to enjoy a quiet moment watching some TV and then Becky is crying again. <laughs> there is not a dull moment in this house. I mean, all of it is kind of dull, but in a... In a bit of a chaotic way. Let's look at that for a second. I will have to change her top, just so she looks normal. Yeah. <laughs> the jeans have a fat morph, but the top doesn't. What's the inside of a sim like? Hollow, just like my soul. I just heard a wolf howling outside and I don't see it now though. Dustin, what are you doing? Oh, he's bathing his baby sister. Look at Dustin. Look at him go. I had a ridiculously fun time. What? What gift? Where did you put that? Is it in my inventory? No. <gasps> hey, look at this! Where? <laughs> she left it here on the sidewalk. Not on the sidewalk, on the crosswalk. Angela is insane. But wait, Piggy is back. Of course she is. Hey there, Piggy. What's up, girl? Isn't this a super expensive object? 4,000 simoleons. We're rich. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. We're rich. You know, listen, listen. Dustin would have probably kept that for the sake of sentimental value. You see, he's thinking about money. There is one thing he appreciates more than his relationship with Angela, and that is money. She's coming back. This, now this we can keep. Look at that. Look at that. Angela just left that for you. And look at this. Look at this friend. 
Hey there, Piggy. Let me just uh, disallow pets in the house. We don't want you coming inside destroying our things, Piggy. Please don't. But yeah, Angela gifted him that ridiculous vase. And um, he was like, that's great. Fantastic gift. But well, how can I pawn this for money? He still has his connections in the criminal career. We can afford stuff now. Something like a nanny. If Brandy gets a job. And I feel like with this huge financial injection, we can absolutely be back on our feet super soon. Nothing like playing fetch with a stray dog at 3 a.m. on a Saturday night. Oh, she's leaving. She was like, I'm done. I'm done with that. I am done. I am out. See y'all never. Wait, Piggy is back. She's back. Dustin, wake up. Piggy is back. Piggy broke. How does Piggy broke sound to you guys? Praise for howling. Yeah, absolutely. Dustin will totally do that. Why are you sleeping in Dustin's room, you weird girl? You shouldn't be sleeping in your son's bed. This is just so inappropriate. He's constantly thinking of money. This boy, all he has on his mind is money. Actually, I just invited her. Why is she um, tiptoeing? Imagine making your kid do this, this house chore for you. No. I'm all in for, you know, teaching kids how to clean after themselves, but doing this? At the age of probably 10 or something like that? No. <laughs> when I was playing the Dreamer household for a hot minute, Lilith invited Jennifer Bird, and here Angela invited John, basically. <gasps> Dustin became fat as well! This food is so nutritious! How about... I'm thinking... Go and shoot some hoops, Dustin. Oh wait, he's not fat, he was actually fit? Since when? Since when was he fit? Here's Angela. Oh, look at her outfit. Okay, girl. Let's go. She's so cute in this outfit, though. Oh, he just got fit again. Okay, okay. Flex it. Let's go. Are you gonna flex too? <gasps> look who's here! Are you sleepy again? How are these sims always so tired? You know what? You know what? They have some aspiration points. I'm just gonna do this for him. <gasps> Piggy! Hey! You messy dog! You were such a pig pen! I wanna see this introduction. Hey there, it's nice to meet you. He's like, Mom, this is my girlfriend. Get off my back. Get off my back. But she has to go home now. Because he's so tired, he can't really pay attention to her. Did you just eat my trash? And the phone is ringing. I can't pay attention to it. <laughs> I can't pay attention to so many things happening at once. Pick up the phone, Brandy. Let's see who that is. It's probably someone for Dustin. Yeah, of course, it's Ricky. Dustin just went to sleep. He's had a very busy day. How about you call Patricio Monti? Just, just have a chat with him. Just see how, how he's doing along. She's talking about gold. She's like, listen, I'm just checking up on you. I'm not a gold digger or anything like that. Becky only has two days left before celebrating her birthday, only two days left before Bo's birthday, and Dustin is considering college. Now, the birthdays are surely gonna happen. College for Dustin, though? Highly doubt that. Highly doubt that. Scholarships? A scholarship for what? For having terrible grades? Perhaps? <laughs> if they give scholarships for that, Dustin will be number one. Well, it's now winter in Pleasant View. I suppose this was kind of an uneventful episode. Considering the kind of family that we're playing, there wasn't much going on. Dustin had the worst time ever, and then he had the best time ever, basically. <laughs> He's sleeping soundly. He is the worst student at his school. He got fired from his job. But then he had his first date, first kiss, and first woohoo with Angela all at once. Because she is just so assertive and made everything happen in just a single moment. And now he wants to get a job again. Um, if you want a job, Dustin, you'll have to first take care of this huge pile of homework that you have right here lying on the floor. Little Becky is working on her musical talents. She's probably not going to grow up too well because I don't think any of these are coming true for her. Brandy is buried underneath the pillows with little Bo, who is sleeping next to her. But I think I'll leave it right here, you guys. It's winter. We're done with this round of the Broke family. You know, it was very chill. It was a little bit more a slice of life than anything else. We didn't have too much chaos, even though we had some suspicious occurrences. I think Brandy might be on her way to becoming the other woman to a man from another town. That's very messy, but if she's genuinely interested in something like that, 
We'll have to see if she continues pursuing it. And uh, we'll have to see if Dustin fixes his life and gets his stuff together to get a job and possibly go to college. I highly doubt it, but maybe he'll try for that. And of course, how will little Becky and Bo grow up? Like, what kind of people will they become? Bo especially is just so different from his older brother and his mom. He has such a different personality, so... Perhaps he has a whole different life path in front of him? But I guess we'll find out later. I hope you enjoyed this much more laid-back, slower episode. It was not like the usual ones I'm making, but you know, I had fun. I had fun. Sometimes you need something like this to balance out the rest of the chaos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun. Look who's just passing by. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more Sims 2 content, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!